it's uh, really a trend. Uh, in Europe, the main uh, producing countries such as France or Italy and Spain have been consuming wines uh, for generations. And uh, uh, today we see a, a change in terms of uh, uh, consumption habits. People drink less than in the past, but they drink better. So obviously that, is, that has an impact on the overall uh, uh, amount of uh, uh, wines consumed, but it's, uh, it's a very positive impact in terms of quality and also in terms of uh, uh, economics, because they drink uh, more expensive wines than before. <laughs> for the 12 year old per case so it's about it's about 12 pounds a bottle and 50 a bottle so I could imagine that uh, you know scotch whiskey is sold in over 200 countries worldwide I don't think if there's a split up between between Britain and, 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 and Europe that people will stop drinking Scotch whiskey. I think there's, there's uh, you know, relationships formed over hundreds and hundreds of years, so I, I cannot imagine that it's going to make a huge dent to Scotch whiskey, but it depends on taxation. You know, it's a fickle world out there, and if taxes go, go too high, people might not buy so much Scotch whiskey. But I, I think deep down, They've got a great, the Europeans have got a great palate for Scotch whiskey, and I can't really imagine that they're going to stop drinking it. Our major market is still Italy, with a 35%, followed by North America and then the rest of Europe. And for us at the moment, Asia is still very small. It's about 6% of our production. Uh, I think China will, uh, will need a little bit of time to, uh, to get to know Italian wines, and we just need to come here more and have the wines tasted. Number five is a wine made with the Grignolino grape variety. Noir, Pinot Gris, and Pinot Blanc are exactly the same grape variety. A Cornero is, uh, if not the best producer of Grignolino, certainly one of the top. No.